think the GoPro Volta is great, but there are definitely certain circumstances where you're going to want to ditch it in favour of using a gimbal instead. And there are two main reasons really, which I'll show you in this video. So if you're not too familiar with the Volta, it's essentially a handle, a tripod, a remote, and a battery pack all in one. It literally charges your GoPro all day. I did a video about this a little while ago, so I'll link to it in the description and at the end of this video so you can check it out because I used it all day for vlogging and it's perfect. And if you go for the Creator Edition, because you can just buy the Volta by itself, but if you go for the Creator Edition, you get the Volta, the media mod, which you need if you want to attach an external microphone, and you get some other bits and pieces, other accessories in there as well. So it's really, really great. And check out that video for more information about it. But there are situations where you're definitely not going to be able to use the Volta. And the first one is when you're shooting in low light. So when you're shooting in low light, your shutter speed gets dropped down because it's trying to compensate for bringing your exposure up. So it's less so about shooting in low light and more so about shooting with slower shutter speeds, which is also the case if you want to use ND filters. Complete rookie error. I um, didn't charge my gimbal, so I can't use it. But now would be a good idea to tell you about today's sponsor. Okay, it's charging. So today's sponsor is Film Convert. I use Film Convert Nitrate all the time. I've used it in this video as well. You might be thinking that GoPro footage looks pretty good. It does, doesn't it? Well, it's because I color graded it with Film Convert Nitrate. Film Convert Nitrate is a film emulation suite. It allows you to get rid of that digital look from your footage. And if you don't like that GoPro look, then this is where Film Convert Nitrate is just awesome because you would never really tell that that footage was shot with the GoPro. It was shot with the Hero 11. So there are loads of film stocks to choose from and and also you can dial in as much or as little of that film stock as you like and also with the film grain as well you can dial that in as much or as little as you like so you can just adjust it to fit how you want your footage to look which is awesome and you can also use the tools in there to actually color correct your footage as well there are loads of camera packs to choose from it's not just gopro so i use this for my sony a7s3 for my a7 III, and you can just go on the film convert nitrate website and see there are loads of different cameras that you can download this for so it's well worth downloading the trial trying it out and if you do want to buy it you can get 10 percent off if you use the code tamara g thanks film convert for sponsoring this video links are in the description so check it out So as I was saying yesterday, ditching the Volta and going for a gimbal instead is going to be the best bet if you are going to be shooting in low light or with ND filters because of the slow shutter speed. And this is because electronic image stabilisation doesn't work with slower shutter speeds, it just makes the footage look really shaky and just not good. So you need the gimbal in order to smooth out that footage. The only downside when using a gimbal for vlogging is the fact that depending on the gimbal that you use you might not be able to attach an external microphone because you won't be able to use the media mod with some gimbals like the Hohem iSteady Pro 4 which is the one that I am using at the moment. But if you were to get something like the Inky Falcon Plus then you can still attach the media mod to that gimbal and also, if you were to get something like the Feutech Scorp Mini, you can also attach, keep your media mod attached with that gimbal as well. But the benefit of using something like the Hohem iSteady Pro 4 over something like the Feutech, Feutech Scorp Mini is the fact that it's so small and compact and it just fits in your bag without any issues. And if you want to keep your whole setup really small, then using something like the Hohem iSteady Pro 4 is brilliant. So I mentioned the Inky Falcon Plus and I've done a video as to why I wouldn't use that gimbal. So I'll put a link in the description to that. So the second reason is for getting creative shots. And this is where you can attach a 
an extension pole to the gimbal to create jib like shots so you've got a longer reach and you can just do more with it so if you were to just have the Volta you wouldn't get the movement of the gimbal that would allow you to get those jib like shots which is why having a gimbal is going to be a lot better I've got this Insta360 extended selfie stick at the moment and I just carry it with me everywhere because it's really light and it's really small but it works really well with this gimbal as well because the gimbal's not too heavy. I wouldn't put loads of weight on it so if you had a heavier gimbal then I wouldn't use this. I'd get, go for something else and I'll put a link in the description to some that I recommend. But yeah, for a small gimbal the Insta360 extended selfie stick works really well because you can extend it as little or as much as you want and um, yeah, it's just it's pretty good. So this is what I would use to get those shots that look like you used a jib. The other thing that I find easier as well is having the extended selfie stick, even if you're not trying to get any kind of like jib shots or anything, but you just want more controlled shots because I feel like it's easier to move your entire body whilst holding an extended selfie stick when you're trying to get some of these shots. Like if you wanted to get a replicate, a sliding shot or something like that, it's just, I feel like there's more control when you have it, have more to grip onto rather than just having the, um, handle of the gimbal because you can move your body a bit more and move your arms a little bit more without jitters being introduced. So for a bonus tip, if you wanted to shoot with the linear profile because you didn't want to shoot wide because you get the distortion when you're in an environment where there's lots of lines and that kind of thing, it's really obvious. So you might want to shoot in linear profile and you also might want to use horizon levelling but horizon levelling then crops in further, so you might not want that much of a crop. So using a gimbal means that you can shoot with just normal linear mode without horizon levelling on, and you'll get the horizon levelling from the gimbal because obviously you've got that stabilisation from the gimbal. So that's just one of the other reasons why you might want to use a gimbal as well. What I will say about the gimbal though, is when you are using it for low light shooting, for the slow shutter speeds, or using it for the ND filters, do keep your image stabilization on because that's just going to get rid of any micro jitters that you might get in the footage so leave image stabilization on and you'll get the smoothest footage possible with the gimbal it's worth mentioning that if you did want to vlog using the gimbal and you can't attach an external microphone the microphone from the gopro hero 11 is actually really good so if you didn't have a microphone to attach it wouldn't be the end of the world and you could just get away with just having this setup the GoPro and the gimbal and no external microphone so don't worry too much unless it's really really windy but if it's a quite a calm day or you're not somewhere where there's a huge amount of noise and traffic then you're probably going to be fine. So yeah that's literally all I wanted to talk about in this video so I hope it was useful. Thank you again to Film Convert for sponsoring this video and I've dropped links in the description to the other videos that I mentioned and the gear that I used for this video so check out the description. But thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.